thank you for tuning in welcome to my channel i'm finally bringing you guys my bun tutorial yes took me long enough i know i look like a poodle right now and yes i want to work like this but this is how i get my bun done honey so don't judge me thank you now let's get right into it all right so when i am anticipating doing my bun right i always do it on a fresh twist out the reason being is because my curls are just super defined that way the curls are popping you know so i came to realize that when i do my buns on a fresh twist out honey it's flaky every time usually i would do my twist out the day before i want to do my bun so that way i give my hair enough time to air dry because i don't use blow dryers on my hair like that like i think i'm gonna start but i just don't at the moment so i let my hair air dry yes i come to work with my twists since i thought i be looking a little nuts you know i thought i looked cute today you know i don't know i give it 24 hours to dry and then when i come home i take it down and then i get to the bunning so let me start all right so when i the way i take down my twist is that i just twist in the opposite direction i used to put oil on the tips of my fingers but it doesn't really make a difference in my opinion so i just do it like this now because i ain't got time so yeah i'm just gonna take this down sometimes i get a little um impatient and i go from like the middle of my twist and i pull but i always make sure that i untwist first i make sure that i untwist the opposite way and then i pull i don't just pull it open like i'm not gonna just take this one and pull it apart because that's how i'm gonna snag my hair no no so yeah you twist in the opposite direction of the twist then you pull and you should be good Bloop. see i'm gonna do this all around i'm not gonna lie this is time consuming but if you want a flaky bun honey this is what you gotta do so i don't want to hear y'all complaining this is what i do all right if i want my bun to be like super curly this is just how i get that look i like doing voiceovers but i think i like this a little bit better i feel like on my voiceovers i be sounding too sultry like i be like yeah, nah, 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 nah. and i don't do it on purpose it just comes out like that i don't know like when i'm just talking into a mic i just sound different from when i'm like talking to y'all like this you know all right i'm gonna shut up now because i want to fast forward this part and I don't want y'all to miss nothing that I'm saying. I'm just gonna take these twists out real quick. And they both work wonders together. Like whatever brush you use to smooth out your ponytails, grab it, honey. All right, so I'm gonna put the back of my hair in a scrunch. Get out the way, cause it's in my way. All right, put a little bun back there. So now this is perfect. Like I'm gonna start doing this. Like when the day before. I do my top knots and I know that I'm gonna have it all the way high like that. I'm doing that little situation again. So I can, this is so easy. Like usually I would have my hair down. So I would have to like mold it up. But honey, it's already up. Like yes. Only spray your roots. So what I usually do is I will put my hair up 
this. I don't look a little crazy right now. And I really get them wet because I need them to slick down. Then I get my gel. It's not really a lot on there because my hair is freshly washed. I have moisturizer in my hair. I have oil in my hair and I have botanical gel in my hair. So I don't need a lot of this, but I'm heavy handed in every video, honey. So I'm still gonna keep caking on a little bit, but I don't need like tons, you know? So now I'm gonna get my Denman brush. So what this is going to do is, it's gonna give me that smooth effect. Cause I'm basically smoothing out my roots. Your parts don't gotta be perfect because it's all coming up anyway. And honestly, I should have put a little bit more hair in this in the top, but it's okay. Yeah, honestly, I should have put more hair in the top. Usually what I do is I do like half of my head. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna just get some more hair from the back section. I'm really sorry if y'all can't see this. All right, see that? Now it's just the back that I have to do. I'm gonna take that. All right, so we're strictly the back now. That's not, it's not being pulled up. All right, so I'm gonna make sure I spray these roots. in there but it's all right I'm gonna leave it out okay so now I get my scrunchie and you know what I'm gonna get the front a little bit more like the very very front all right all right so now I'm gonna take my scrunchie and I'm gonna make sure that I don't make it too tight because I'm actually gonna have multiple scrunchies in my head. All right? So I think that was about three times. Okay, so that was like about three times. Honestly, I could take my hair being really tight. I don't put it so tight where it's like pulling on my edges. But my edges are pretty strong, but you know what you can handle. So just make sure that you don't put it too tight because you have to put the rest of your hair up and you want this part to really be pulled taut because you want it to be sleek. You know what I mean? So don't make it too tight. I know I can handle a little bit more tightness, so I'm good. So now, this part is going up, right? So now you spray. You know that lump that you get in the back of your ponies, but you don't get all the hair up? This is how I avoid that. I just do it piece by piece. So now I'm gonna twist this. Can you see that? I twisted it like that. I'm just gonna pin it. Okay, I'm gonna pin it right here so it can stay. Because I have to do this part now. So now get your water. You spray your roots. Get the the kitchen. Now y'all can stop asking me how I do this bun. Get your 
gel. I kind of overdo it with the gel in the back because the hair, my hair is not really all the same length. It kind of is, but the hair that's in the back of your head, it has to reach all the way to the top. So it has a longer way to go than the hair that's in the front. So you really have to use a lot of gel so it can stay sleeked. Feel me? So now I pull it taut, stretch it out. So now I'm gonna take out that pin. You see that? Took my pin out. Untwist that little situation that I did. All right. So now I'm actually gonna use a little bit more water. So since this is going to be the scrunchie that keeps my whole ponytail together, I'm not going to use the regular size one because I also have like these really big ones that I use for situations like this. These. Let me show you the difference. So I'm going to use the bigger one because I can really double up on this. With that, I can only go around like about three times. With this, I can really go ham and I'm going to need to go ham to keep this hair up. So that's pretty much what I'm gonna do. So now I'm just gonna hold, I'm gonna get my ponytail at the top just like that. I see a little a few imperfections right there. Just gonna grab that in there. Okay, so that's smooth. Alright, you see that? Lit. I feel like I need a little bit more water. this point you can go around your head with the brush and just make sure everything is good so you can get the sides again because this is your final scrunchy situation so you want to make sure that you get everything all right so now I'm gonna use it doubled then look what I do so I have it doubled here but I'm gonna let one side go so I can get it tight all right so I'm gonna go around a few times make sure I don't get any curls snagged in there y'all counting cuz I stopped all right this is, this is pretty okay. So now I'm gonna pull the curls in the back to really get it tight. Again, I could take a lot of tightness, so if you can't do it, honey, then you don't have to, but I just like the, to feel the tightness in my hair. All right, so this is pretty good. All right, so y'all gonna find out that I'm a perfectionist. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna go in more with some gel and basically take some gel. I'm gonna just get all of that smooth, honey. All right, cause the back need the most attention in my opinion because Honestly and truly, don't forget the kitchen. But like I said before, this hair is trying to reach all the way to the top of your head. So it's gonna really need to lay, feel me? It's going further than any of the hairs on your head. So actually, I'm gonna use this first. Let's start from the bottom. Yeah, 
And you know those hairs that are a little short and they don't reach all the way inside of the ponytail or the bun? I hold them up here and I get my toothbrush. I dip it in. It is now gelled. And I brush them up with my toothbrush. Okay, so after I brush them up with my toothbrush, I take my pin and I insert it at the very top. So I'm pretty much done with the back. Smooth up my kitchen a little bit. The sides don't look too bad, but again, I go in when it's bun time and I wanna give y'all the best bun possible. A little bit of gel, not too much because the sides are like, they're gelled up enough. So this is how I do my bun now. Honestly, I like a messy bun. I just grab everything, right? All right, so this is a small scrunchie. On any given day, I'll do it differently. So I just grab my hair, I mold it a little bit. You know what? I'm sorry. <laughs> so I'm gonna use one of these, I'm gonna use one of these, right? Because this is how I make it tall. So I grab it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. So I'll take it one time, boom. Right? Two times. Boom. Ah! All right. All right, so look, the scrunchie is right here. So I tuck in whatever I want to be tucked in. Like if the hairs are sticking out too much, I'll tuck them in. I'll do the same thing in the back. So I'm just tucking it in. it in so I'm just tucking it in the scrunchie y'all all right so like at the base of my bun I like it to be like tight I like it I don't like the cone look you see the cone look that I got I don't like that so I put a small scrunchie at the very bottom to tighten it up a little bit Sometimes I put more than one, which I'm gonna do today. All right. And then again, I don't really like the shape of it. So I'm just gonna keep playing with it until it's cute to me. cutest but it's cute All right, I'm gonna put one more scrunchie So that's basically how I make it tall. I just wrap the scrunchie around it like once or twice and it gives me that like, you know, that tall effect. Now, as you can see, <laughs> she's sticking out in the front. So that's when I take care of that, when I put it in a bun. Cause now I can really see the perimeter of my hair. So now I can really perfect it. So I'm just dabbing my, my brush into the gel I'm just smoothing down the front and the sides baby her time all right because this bun got my forehead looking crazy
important part for me, honestly, is the front, I'm not gonna lie. So, kind of fold it in a fat way. Mm -hmm. Fold it kind of big so I can get the front really well. The back gets secure too, for the most part. Like the bottom, it's good enough for me. I'm gonna go ahead and tie it. All right, so I chill like this for about 20 minutes, and I'm gonna snatch her off and show you all the results. Okay, guys, so just to tell you a little bit more about this bun, the way I actually do the bun it doesn't come out the same all the time which is kind of the fun part about it it's more like a messy bun so i have to play with it and finagle it a little bit to look the way i want it to look but for the most part it comes out amazing every single time especially this part honey that part is foolproof if you do a fresh twist out and you follow these steps i'm telling you you're gonna have a sleek bun even if you don't have the same hair texture as me if you use the gel that works for you it should come out the same pretty much especially if you have the length to do it it took me a while to get to this length so i'm not even gonna lie to y'all like to do a top knot bun was literally my goals in my natural hair journey like i was like i cannot wait until i can do a top knot bun like a real top knot like on the top top the tippy top of my head if you like this video please give it a thumbs up comment down below share it with your friends but thank you guys so much for tuning in i love all of you guys and i'll see y'all next sunday